Good morning. Have a blessed day to all of us. Welcome to Everyday God Daily Devotion. And the title of our short devotion for today is about the concept of marriage covenant. And it is in Malachi 2 verses 14 and 15. In Malachi 2 verse 14 says, You asked, it is because the Lord is the witness between you and your wife of your group to whom you have been faithless, though she is your companion and your wife by covenant. In Malachi 2 verse 15 says, Has not one God made you? You belong to Him in body and in spirit. And what does one God seek? Godly offspring. So be in your guard, and do not be unfaithful to the wife of your youth. What does Malachi 2 verse 14 mean? In verse 13, describe the worry of Israel, realizing that God is not accepting their offerings. Prior statement of Malachi accused Israel of marrying pagans, a Hindu scribe. Here, a more immediate cause of God to ignore the prayers is given. The men of Israel had been divorcing their wives, presumably in order to marry those pagan women. This described using the Hebrew word bagata, which implies treachery, dishonesty, and unfaithfulness. Men are dishonoring their vows to their wives, yet complaining that God is not giving them their demanded blessings. This verse also puts the concept of a marriage covenant or a vow into spiritual perspective. Such vows are made in the presence of God. In fact, they are made of God regarding this spouse. Breaking that vow through divorce is not merely a problem between two people. Divorce means breaking a promise involving God and disrupting one of the most important institutions he created, and that is marriage. In Malachi 2, 15 mean, So guard yourself in your spirit, and let none of you be faithless to your wife of your youth. It is a powerful verse that describes the beautiful union God has designed for a husband and wife to share, but not just the two of them. This is a three-way relationship here. It is between God, the husband, and the wife. Marriage is God's idea, and He has good reason for designing it the way He did. He designed marriage for the primary purposes, companionship, procreation, and redemption. These purposes are still relevant today and are essential for a healthy society. Thank you and God bless us all.